Hello and welcome to the online library. My name is Galina Paciu and I am teacher of English at Public Institution Theoretical ICM Livideliano Chisinau. Today we will practice our English by means of understanding of acceptable usage of grammar in a given linguistic context and mastering grammar rules. The first exercise from page 124 from your school books suggests that you analyze the defining pronouns. Most refers to the biggest number of amount of more than anything or anyone else. Examples What's the most you've ever won at poker? Which of you earns the most money? Many is used mainly in negative sentences and questions and with to, so and as to mean a large number of. Examples I don't have many clothes. Not many people have heard of him. Some is an amount or number of something that is not stated or not known, a part of something. Example, there is some cake in the kitchen if you'd like it. Here is some news you might be interested in. The majority of is used as the large number or part of something. Example, the majority of the employees have university degrees. A large majority of people approve of the death sentence. Both a few and few refer to a small quantity, a small amount. A few normally conveys a positive idea. He has a few friends that he'll help. Few is normally used with a negative idea. He has few good friends. Fill in the gaps with the defining pronouns. Many people would like to have pets, but few of them take a street dog home. Take your time in this sentence. The majority of our students learn English and French, but there are some who study German. Read attentively this sentence. The law was not approved because only few MPs voted it. Which pronoun should we use here? When I went to the shop, there were a few loaves of bread left, so I managed to buy one. There are many animals which have healing powers, but many people don't believe it. Be attentive here. Most illnesses and remedies have been discovered by the scientists, but many are to be discovered in the future. Here we have three gaps to be filled in. Very few students at our university learn Chinese, but there are many who would like to, though it is one of the most difficult languages to learn. In the next exercise, we will revise the usage of the modifiers. All is an generalizing pronoun. It takes a group of things or persons as a whole. Both points out two persons, things or notions mentioned before. Either has two meanings, each of the two and one or the other. Another is one more person or thing or an extra amount. Other refers to one more of the same thing or person already mentioned. Introduce the modifier where necessary. The streets in the town were so narrow that people could not walk on either sides. Choose the correct modifier for this sentence. He has eaten that piece of cake. Can you give him another one, please? Let's consider that the speaker has just two brothers. Both my brothers are engineers. Of course, if the speaker has more than two brothers and they all are engineers, you can also use all my brothers are engineers. English or French. 
At this school, you can study either English or French. Being at school, my daughter had all her friends from school, but now, at the university, she has got other friends. We use any before nouns to refer to indefinite or unknown quantities or an unlimited entity. Neither allows us to make a negative statement about two people or things at the same time. None means not one or not any. Fill in the gaps with the right defining pronoun in parentheses. My friends and I would like to thank you for hospitality. We all enjoyed ourselves very much. Neither or none. There are two public libraries in the city, but neither of them is located close to where I live. Two wristwatches were left here. Is either of them yours? What about this sentence? He has three nephews. All of them have graduated from university. Sentence number five. I have two violins. You are welcome to use either of them. Next sentence. My aunt and uncle are both coming for a visit. George and Tom like playing chess together, but neither of them likes to lose a game. Here we have a tasty one. The bush is covered with blueberries. Are any of them ripe yet? I have read five books on the subject, but none of them were very helpful. Exercise 4 suggests that you select the appropriate word from the brackets. Did you visit him too? Too is used in a positive statement, whereas either is used in negative ones. Be attentive here. Peter didn't remind me about the meeting. Anne didn't tell me about it either. Here we have a negative statement. Adjective or adverb. In this case, bad is an adjective that we use with the linking verbs feel, is, seem, looks or appears. When you are referring to a sense of touch, then badly is used as an adverb describing the verb to feel or touch. The correct way is to say I haven't watched TV since Sunday because I felt bad. Choose the correct words. We use enjoy when we get pleasure from something, whereas to be fond of means to like doing something. Although is synonymous with even though in spite of. So as may be substituted with in order to. We can't say we are fond of this play, although it is taken from a very interesting novel. Which one suits here the best? One of these days refers to the next few days in the near future, while the other day is in the past. In the sentence we have the passive past simple form was told. That is why the correct way is. I was told that the other day she would be going away on business. The order of adjectives before a noun is not 100% fixed. If you are in doubt about how to write your adjectives, there is a somewhat useful suggested order, and I use osascomp to remember that its opinion, size, age, shape, color, origin, material and purpose. Now let's look at each type of adjectives in more detail. Opinion. These adjectives explain what we think about something. This is our opinion, attitude or observations that we make. Some examples of adjectives referring to opinion are delicious, lovely, nice, cool, pretty, comfortable and difficult. Size. 
Adjectives about size tell us how big or small something is. Examples Big, small, tall, huge, tiny, large, enormous. Age Adjectives of age tell us how old someone or something is. How old is it? Some examples of adjectives referring to age are old, young, new, antique, ancient. Shape Also weight and length. These adjectives tell us about the shape of something or how long or short it is. It can also refer to the weight of someone or something. Examples Round, square, long, fat, heavy, oval, skinny, straight. Color The color or approximate color of something. Examples Green, blue, reddish, purple, pink, orange, red, black, white. Origin tells us where something is from or was created. Some examples of adjectives referring to origin are American, British, Indian, Turkish, Moldovan, Irish. Material What is the thing made of or what is it constructed of? Examples Gold, wooden, plastic, synthetic, silk, paper, Cotton, silver. The last one is purpose. What is it used for? What is the purpose or use of this thing? Many of these adjectives end in ing, but not always. Some examples of adjectives referring to purpose are gardening, as in gardening gloves, shopping, as in shopping bags, riding, as in riding boots. Now let's put the theory into practice. Put the adjectives in parentheses in these sentences in the most appropriate order. Mine's the small blue Japanese car. What kind of house do I rent? I rent a large old furnished house. I've just bought a beautiful wooden coffee table. Their powerful combined military forces soon overcame the invasion. What about this sentence? Have you seen this fantastic new German invention? What is the right order here? There was a wonderful soft woolen rug on the floor. She gave me a small square metal jewelry box. Do you like cycling? Cycling is a popular outdoor activity. They live in a muddy straw houses. The straw is mixed with mud and used as building material. Here we are at the end of the unit, as well as the end of the school year. Write a letter to your teachers and your classmates saying goodbye to a difficult year. Share with them the most memorable moments you had and speak about your plans for the summer. Goodbye.